Good morning, folks. Let's begin in 131 angstroms where solar flares appear as bright flashes. We have none. A small C flare center frame was about all we got, and the earth facing quiet wins another day. FYI, the little skip you'll see in today's solar images is a slight data dropout for HelioViewer, but our other resources do let us know that nothing happened during that time. The southern bunch of umbral magnetic fields here and the sunspot plasma flows indicate a new active region has entered the playing field. Eyes on the southeast. In 211 angstroms, we find our northern coronal hole still turning in. Look at how the open IMF clears the particles in the corona, that's the solar atmosphere, so that it is emptier than the surrounding areas. Let's come to spaceweathernews.com and check out the last day of our star in 193 angstroms. The bright areas are sunspots, but the thin dark lines writhing around are the plasma filaments, and those are our primary eruption threat. This is because solar flaring is quite low, as I said, with no significant events, and why not focus on the filaments with the sunspots in major decay on the Earth-facing disk? Northern Group may gain complexity here and there as he fades, but it's looking like the end is near for these guys. In the solar wind, we saw one last speed ramp in yellow there, but now the stream begins waning and magnetic instability at Earth should be lower today. Let's come to do a full solar sphere analysis using the Stonyhurst heliographic wrapped around the ball. Zero degrees is the Earth-facing position, and you can see our dying sunspots in the thin dark plasma filament facing Earth today. As we turn, the limb bright areas are those new sunspots we just mentioned earlier, especially on the south. Bit of a trans-equatorial coronal hole on the far side, and coming back around, we see the recently departed spots and back to zero. Top quake of interest until the last couple of hours was a 4.9 that struck off the coast of Oregon. It's above average. But just this morning, however, southern Alaska took a magnitude 6.4. You may remember last night on Twitter, our concern was for the OLR at the U.S. West Coast, but it did not extend up north that far. Top news includes a super cool story about tardigrades, the little creatures that survived space conditions in 2007, survived a 9-year freeze, and now a 30-year freeze after being yanked from Antarctica. It must have been impregnated 30 years ago before it was frozen because it has now laid eggs, almost all of them hatched, and there have been no documented anomalies in any of the children. For advanced observers, we also have a relatively complex paper describing action within comet-forming regions and a brand new guess on the dust-to-water ratio within the rocks. Well folks, that is a winter storm. Hurricane force winds, records slain, travel bans, crashes, and death. All part of the last 48 hours in the east. This video was taken by our buddy Nem, an observer outside Baltimore, where some of the worst storm effects were felt. More than a dozen people have died as all-time snow records near at least three major airports have been shattered. Some areas actually got more than three feet of snow. Winds topped out at 85 miles per hour, and we've also had record flooding and high water across multiple areas due to rain, runoff, and storm surging. You can see Jonas leaving as another system is set to develop in the central states there. Across the pond, Jonas will join the Icelandic low to crest their convergence over the northern islands. Website members, please don't miss yesterday's fly on the wall. If there are huge Stephen Hawking fans, you can feel free to sit this one out, but the rest of you should get the update and hear our back and forth over the validity of the recently claimed discovery of a ninth planet in our solar system. Things are coming together, folks. Picked up some great-looking stuff from our sponsor, Minuteman Press, yesterday. Still got discounts for students seniors, and military. Head over to spaceweathernews.com slash OTF to read the details and grab your tickets just six days away. We've got that same pressure run down under in South America and in the northern Pacific, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 6.15 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.